Yo, what the hell's going on guys? Welcome to your 29th PSD to WordPress tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about widgets. <laughs> Alright then, so what exactly is a widget? Well, you see this sidebar right here? Everything in this sidebar is a widget. This right here is a widget, these recent posts is a widget, this is a widget, this is a widget, etc. These are all widgets and widgets are things that we can control in the admin area of WordPress. So I can add and remove widgets to this sidebar in the admin area. Now, how would I do that? Well, if we go to the admin area and go down to appearance, then go to widgets, you can see here, this is the sidebar and these are all of the different widgets and each one of these corresponds to one of these things that you see here. Okay, so we've got the search, recent posts, recent comments, archives, etc. And if we want, we could rearrange these like that. So we've done that, it's saved, if I go over here, refresh, now you're going to see that search drop down here. I want it at the top, so I'm going to put it right back at the top like that. But if we wanted to take some stuff off, all we do is grab it and drop it over here. Let's take off the recent comments, drop it over here, okay? Um, in fact, we don't want to put it in inactive, just up here. So if we go over here now to the right and click refresh, now we only have those widgets. All right, so if we want to add new ones, we can just pop them over here like that. We'll put pages there. And then the title, we can say is pages. And we can sort by any of these things here. We'll just sort it by page title. And we can exclude any IDs separated by commas if we want to. So we'll save that and refresh over here. And now we have the pages. Likewise, these titles in each one of them can be changed by expanding this and putting a title and you also get different options depending on the widget that you use okay so that's how we add widgets to the widget areas or the sidebar now if we wanted to we could add more than one widget area on our website all right so let's jump into the code and take a look what is controlling these widgets i'll just head over to the archive template because we know that the sidebar is on that and you see this function right here get a sidebar this is a template tag we talked about it earlier and what this is doing is going out and getting the sidebar.php uh, template and loading in the contents of it right here. So let's have a look in there, sidebar.php. And you can see right here, we've got this div with a ID of secondary, class of widget area, and then we've got this function called dynamic sidebar. And wherever we see this function, that is a widgetized area in your WordPress theme, okay? So you can see it's got an identifier of sidebar1. So if we wanted to, we could copy this and we could make another and we could call it footer, right? So let's grab that again. Let's copy it from there and pop this in the footer. So if we head over to footer.php and put it right at the bottom, uh, round about here and save it, we could have another widget area in the footer, but that's not all that we have to do. We have to tell WordPress that, look, we want another widget area, okay? So we're loading in that widget area in the footer, but we have to tell WordPress that we want to register that widget area in our theme also. And to do that, we have to head over to the functions.php file. And in here is a lot of different functions that extend the functionality of your theme. This came along with our blank theme when we got it from Underscore's website. So we can add more in here. So if you scroll down a little bit until you find this thing right here, you see this function called Resto Widget Init. This is going to initialize all the widget areas in our theme. You can see right here we're registering the sidebar and the name of that is sidebar and the ID is sidebar1. Now this might look familiar, it's because it's in the sidebar.php, that ID right here. Okay, so in the footer, we've put the ID to be footer, so that's what we need the ID of our new sidebar in the functions.php file to be called. So that is where we put it. So what I'm gonna do is copy this function to register a new sidebar in our theme, like that, and then the name is going to be footer. The ID is going to be footer, like that, or lowercase. We can give it a description if we want. The before widget option is going to put this aside tag before it with some dynamic classes and IDs. And then after the widget, it's going to close that aside tag. The title of the different widgets that we put in, 
or before the um, widget itself is going to be a H2 and then after that it's going to close the H2 okay so now we've registered that sidebar in WordPress so we can save it and now in the footer WordPress is going to recognize that extra dynamic sidebar and it's going to load it into the WordPress admin area so that we can add widgets to this dynamic sidebar in the footer so let's go over to this page again if I refresh this time you're going to see another widget area called footer which we just added in and we can add widgets to that let's just add in a search like that and we don't need to give it a title let's just save and go over here go to the home page and if we come down to the footer now you're going to see that search right there because this is where the other widget area that we just created is okay so this is what widget is all about little snippets of code or sections that we can add into a dynamic widgetized area in our theme one more thing I want to show you is this text thing right here we could add in this widget and this is basically um, where you can add HTML so you can add pretty much anything you want which isn't already here all right so that's widgets in, uh, in a nutshell. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next video where we're going to take a look at plugins and install one on the WordPress website. I'll see you guys then.